In this lecture, we will discuss the indications for emergent dialysis and renal replacement therapy. Recognizing these indications is essential for healthcare providers to make timely and informed decisions in clinical settings. Emergent dialysis is a critical intervention for managing life-threatening conditions related to kidney failure. And understanding when to initiate this therapy can significantly impact patient outcomes. Uncontrolled hyperkalemia. One of the primary indications for emergent dialysis is uncontrolled hyperkalemia, which is defined as a serum potassium level exceeding 6.5 millimoles per liter or rising levels. Elevated potassium levels can lead to severe cardiac complications, including arrhythmias, which require immediate intervention. Dialysis is often necessary to rapidly reduce potassium levels and prevent further cardiac events. Refractory fluid overload. Refractory fluid overload is another critical indication for emergent dialysis. This condition is characterized by persistent hypoxia or a lack of response to conservative treatments such as diuretics. When patients cannot manage fluid retention through these measures, dialysis may be required to remove excess fluid and alleviate symptoms such as shortness of breath and swelling. Uremic pericarditis. Uremic pericarditis occurs when uremia leads to inflammation of the pericardium, the membrane surrounding the heart. This condition can cause significant discomfort and complications, such as pericardial effusion or cardiac tamponade, making it a clear indication for renal replacement therapy. Dialysis helps reduce the accumulation of uremic toxins that contribute to this inflammation. Progressive uremic encephalopathy. Patients exhibiting progressive uremic or metabolic encephalopathy require urgent attention. Symptoms such as asterixis, a flapping tremor of the hands, and seizures indicate that the central nervous system is affected by toxins that the kidneys can no longer filter effectively. Dialysis is necessary to remove these toxins and prevent further neurological damage. Severe sodium imbalances. Severe sodium imbalances are also critical indications for renal replacement therapy. A serum sodium level below 115 milliequivalents per liter or above 165 milliequivalents per liter signals a need for dialysis. Both hypernatremia and hyponatremia can lead to serious neurological issues, including confusion, seizures, and coma, which require prompt correction. Metabolic acidosis with acute kidney injury. In cases of severe metabolic acidosis associated with acute kidney injury, dialysis may be necessary. This condition often results from the accumulation of acids in the body, such as lactic acid, which the kidneys cannot adequately excrete. Maintaining a pH greater than 7.2 is important, especially in the context of permissive hypercapnia, where elevated carbon dioxide levels are tolerated to avoid excessive mechanical ventilation. Life-threatening poisoning. Emergent dialysis is indicated in cases of life-threatening poisoning involving dialyzable substances. Examples include salicylates, lithium, isopropanol, methanol, and ethylene glycol. These toxins can cause severe metabolic disturbances and organ damage. Rapid removal through dialysis can be life-saving, particularly when the body cannot eliminate the toxins quickly enough on its own. Bleeding dyscrasia due to uremia. Patients with bleeding dyscrasia secondary to uremia may require dialysis. The accumulation of uremic toxins can impair platelet function and coagulation pathways leading to an increased risk of bleeding. Dialysis helps reduce these toxins, improving platelet function and reducing the risk of hemorrhage. Excessive blood urea nitrogen and creatinine levels. Excessive levels of blood urea nitrogen and creatinine can indicate the need for dialysis. While trigger levels are somewhat arbitrary, 
It is generally advisable to maintain blood urea and nitrogen levels below 100 mg per deciliter, or approximately 37.7 millimoles per liter. Each case should be evaluated individually based on clinical context, including the presence of symptoms and the rate of rise in these levels. Conclusion In summary, recognizing the indications for emergent dialysis or renal replacement therapy is vital for healthcare providers. Conditions such as uncontrolled hyperkalemia, refractory fluid overload, uremic pericarditis, progressive uremic encephalopathy, severe sodium imbalances, metabolic acidosis with acute kidney injury, life-threatening poisoning, bleeding dyscrasia due to uremia, and excessive blood, urea, nitrogen, and creatinine levels all warrant prompt intervention. Understanding these indications will enhance patient care and improve outcomes in critical situations. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.